What's up guys? Got another cool one to show off. It's been a minute. I've uh, been out of town a bit, but we finally finished up this custom Fender uh, Fender watch for new customer Ryan. So Ryan, I appreciate your patience and waiting on me. Um, so what we've got is he sent over kind of a reference point as to what he wanted and then <clears throat> we custom Cerakoted a dial. So laser etched out uh, some areas throughout, Cerakoted the whole thing uh, in black, and then baked it, and then went back and did that custom silver collar. And then before it dried, wet sanded off the raised black areas um, to re-expose those black areas. So uh, pips around here were lasered completely out. We backside loomed them with stealth loom. It's not as bright of a loom, but it is gray. So, to keep with that same look, uh, he had picked this dot, uh, this insert out from OSC. Uh, it's a half gray, half black. And then um, we put it together. So, it's on an Atlas bezel, brushed case, custom engraved uh, crown here, low profile exhibition case back, stainless steel movement holder in there, and a silver rotor. The engineered, or the brushed engineer goes all the way through, and then also custom lasered the clasp on there. Man, that camera picks up so much more than the eye does. But uh, I've got it. <clears throat> and I go through canned air like crazy because I always use this burlap sack, and that acrylic glass loves to attract anything to it. I uh, did a silver Moldova handset on that. Okay, Google, volume down 12%. It always likes to turn itself up on me. Um, so, custom engraved crown, custom engraved clasp on that. Brush case, brush engineer band, atlas bezel, a half and half uh, minute insert. Moldova handset on there. Uh, the dial is full Cerakote. Uh, everything on there is Cerakoted. And... Um, that's the build. <clears throat> As a reference on every build, the bezel will go left, the bezel will go right. These are just tension ring bezels. Uh, they do not click, so you can turn it left, you can turn it right. Um, automatic mechanical, so you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder. But if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it just a little bit. So make sure you keep time throughout the day. Uh, if you back the threads, back the crown off the threads a little bit until you hear it and feel it clicking. You also see a little bit of play there. You know you're off the threads. You can wind. And wind is a turn that way. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to go back and forth and keep your finger spacing because I'm kind of have my thumb against the case. And it keeps me from threading back on, which I just did, showing you. <clears throat> so if you give this uh, for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you'll keep time throughout the day. And if you do it for something closer to 20 seconds, uh, you will get your 31 plus hour power reserve on it. You cannot overwind it. And that's what I did with this because I built this the other day. And uh, it's still running, keeping perfect time. So just go back and forth. You can't overwind it, as I mentioned. You can wind it all day if you like. When you're good with your winding, pull it to the one and only click. You can now set your time. It does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. <clears throat> okay, Google, what time is it? It's 12, 12 p.m. 12? 12 p.m. I was kind of almost there. Put it over there. Push it out of that time setting. And then wind it down. And that is how you use it. So that is your build, sir. Sorry it took so long on that. That Cerakoting the dial was a bit of a beast. We do not usually do full Cerakote <clears throat> uh, dials. Or if we do, we use a big image in the middle and do the whole background in lower. <clears throat> a lot easier to sand as well. But um, there's your build. As with every boat, it's going to come with matching beads. Entirely up to you whether you wear those or not. It will come in a black BVW Special Edition box. And I actually happen to have a plaid with like white, gray, black um, pillow for you. And then this will come with watch clearance. is good on all glass and metal parts. Non-streaking, non-residue, non-toxic, which would cover the watch as a whole. It's going to come with some fine scratch remover. 
This is Novus 2, just repackaged. It's like polywash because you've got an acrylic glass and you can scratch it, but if you do, just put a little bit of this on it and buff against the scratch, not with it, using your included microfiber. Um, so if it's scratched that way, go up and down and just keep going back and forth, generate some heat with your thumb. I do like half circles. Thing is, just use a tiny bit because the more you use, it's gotta go somewhere and it's trying to go into the cloth, it's trying to go into the scratch. And what you don't wanna do is start pushing it down around your bezel because <clears throat> then you're going to need to use canned air and kind of like be blowing it out. But uh, that's your build, man. I appreciate you a ton. Thank you so much for your patience on it. And um, and I'm going to throw a little something extra in there for you for your time, your patience, and, uh, and us getting this sorted through. So I appreciate you as a customer. I appreciate you waiting and, um, and your support, man. So... Uh, you want me to build you something custom and unique reach out and i'll see what i can do and if you want to continue to see videos like this like and subscribe as i put them up all the time thanks guys